Good evening and welcome to Jacob's virtual bar mitzvah. And this really is a very special and unique moment. And I'd like to thank everyone who's worked so hard to make this possible. A huge mazel tov to Jackie, Mike, and of course to you, Jacob, and all the family. And now we're going to go live to the lift house as I hand over to Jackie and Mike, who will introduce Jacob, and then we'll hear from Jacob himself. So Jackie and Mike, it's over to you. Thank you, Rabbi Chapa. Rabbi Chapa, family, friends, members of the Borenwood Nursery community, boys and girls, welcome to our humble abode, or as we like to call it, Lift Ruins. We are so glad that you have been able to join us virtually in celebrating Jacob's special milestone of reaching his bar mitzvah. And this virtual bar mitzvah would not have been possible without the help and support from Borenwood and Elstree Synagogue. So thank you very much. And as a special thank you for watching, we would like to invite you to a virtual kiddish after the bar mitzvah, which will be held in your kitchen. We would like, we would be grateful if you could please provide the crockery, hot and cold drinks, and a nibble if you want to. A whiskey would be nice too. We are excited to be sharing our special moment, not just with you all, but with the whole of the BES Yavna community, who also has just reached their 13th birthday, their bar mitzvah year. Jacob. Over the past year, you've worked so hard with Mark Duke. We know that you, we know that for you, this learning has proven to be a huge challenge and I admire the effort, enthusiasm and raw determination you've shown in doing this. I also admire the patience shown by Mark and we must thank him too. It's just such a pity that today you cannot show us everything that you have learned and rehearsed for so long. And we applaud you in how well and how quickly you have adapted to deliver this new format. The process has not been without its ups and downs, and on this occasion, mostly for your mother, if the truth be told, who, in the best traditions of Jewish mothers across the world and throughout time, has worked tirelessly to make the perfect function for her precious little bubble. And Jackie, this might not be the permits for you planned, but it's still perfect in its own way. We're all here in our lovely home. We're all healthy, surrounded virtually by our friends, family, and community. And the best part is that nobody else has needed to get dressed up for the occasion. Jacob, with all the extra loud rehearsals of you singing, I think the neighbours would have preferred it if we just bought you a drum kit and be done with it. No, I'm not buying a drum kit, or bagpipes, or a trombone. And finally, we must mention Jacob's charity bike rides. Jacob has been taking part in the Boys Town Jerusalem 13 for 13 Bar Mitzvah Challenge. He set himself a challenge to ride 13 bikes, bike rides, but this being Jacob, he wanted each to be at least 13 miles long. A nice idea, as Jacob is young, fit and healthy. And such a wonderful opportunity for me, his dad, to go with him, who is neither young, fit nor healthy. 
Jacob, I am so impressed with the with your cycling, even if I did not enjoy the experience quite as much as you. However, for obvious reasons, we were prevented from finishing the last few rides, which your mother tells me we shall finish very soon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, let's hear from the man himself. Over to Jacob. Hi, my name is Jacob and welcome to my virtual interactive bar mitzvah. My bar mitzvah was always going to be a little different. I would actually like to think of it as being unique. One could say a little bit like me. I chose to take a different route for my bar mitzvah. One that is more inclusive as it, is, as it would be more interesting to me and something other boys in our great community have not really done before. It has always been difficult for me to keep attention and to stand or sit still for long periods of time as I find it extremely hard to retain new concepts. So Hebrew reading is really, really hard. And the thought of learning a long half Torah that I would only do once didn't really appeal. So instead, I wanted to do something a little different something I would enjoy and could benefit from for life. I even made my own personalised door for my bar mitzvah. However, having a virtual bar mitzvah is not what anyone could possibly imagine when we started planning for my bar mitzvah with a difference. I have spent the last year learning to lead part of the service with the help of Mark Duke, my bar mitzvah teacher. I hope that very soon when our show reopens and we meet as a community and have a proper minyan, I will be able to show you all what skills I have learned. But for now, I shall talk you through the bits of the service I am desperate to meet and sing some of them to show you that not only do I know the tunes and the words, but also the meaning. When you become Bar Mitzvah, you reach a new stage in your Jewish life. Although I am not seen as an adequate yet in English law, under Jewish law I am now a man. I sort of had a spiritual upgrade. I am no longer a cousin and minor. Instead, I am a gadol. The big person. This gives me the opportunity to be called to the Torah and read from it. I can now take and lead different services. I can also be part of a minyan, which is a group of 10 people who can say specific prayers. I can also say a blessing on behalf of others, such as Kiddush on wine, if my dad lets me, or grape juice. Now let me take you through the service. For the bits I sing, please join in. Let's start with the Eikmah. Ain Kamoha Elohim Adnai, be Ain Kamasecha, Bauchetacha, Bauchet, Kolonamim, who mem shelterha the food of Ado. Adnai Belech, Adnai Balach, Adonai Yinoch, lay your lampet. Adonai Oz, nay, I'm all ye tame. Adonai Barat, et abob, a shalom. A parachami, hey, tiva, be irrepsum, ha, et tion. Tim nay, hamot, yarushalayim. He even ha, le bar, betahu, Enkamocha is where we get ready to take the Torah out of the ark, and we are praising Hashem for his heavenly powers, and asking him to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. This prayer is so important that we all stand out of respect and sing together. The ark with the Torah scrolls is then opened. It is an honour to be asked to open the ark. We then will stand for the Torah scrolls. We all sing it together via Heath and Soa. Baruch Shemay is a passage in Aramaic which was written by the Kabbalist or mystic called the Zohar, which is very hard to read and took me a while to learn. We are praising Hashem for the universe and we, op we ask that Hashem help us to open our hearts to have a better understanding of his Torah. The Torah is then taken out of the ark and given to the Chazan who takes the Torah in his right arm faces the community and sings the verses Shema Yisrael and Zachat Eloheinu. The community then repeat these verses. The Chazan then faces the Ark and bows while saying Gadalu. Let us praise his name together. The Chazan then turns to face the community 
and then moves to his right until Lakar Adonai Hagadula. The Torah is now carried to the Bimah, and everyone gets it. We sing about the greatness and power of God. We then start the regular reading of the weekly Sidra, where seven people are called up. One is a Kohen, one is a Levi, and the rest are Israelites. The last section is reread. This is known as Matir. I have learned the Matir of Bar which mostly talks about how the Bnei Yisrael were counted. I shall now sing it for you. Who I don't know, after whom I came, after whom I came, 
Atta hüş ikti ru abu teynu la fanaka et katura ta samim. La 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 la. This song praises Hashem and says no one can compare to him. We then all stand. We then all stand for Aleinu, which is another powerful prayer where we praise Hashem, the Master of everything, and hope that in the future all of mankind recognize Hashem. After this, I'm assuming Lord, a special song of glory is sung by someone other than this age, so not me. It's such a special song that we stand and open the ark while it is being sung. We then conclude with a John Alam, which says Hashem is all powerful, you can do anything and everything. I hope you will join with I hope you will join in with me when I sing it, after we have heard from Rabbi Chapa. Yasha Koyak Jacob. That was fantastic. Really, really well done. Fantastic. We really enjoyed all of that. Now, I'm delighted to ask get your dad to come back in and make his special bracha, releasing himself a responsibility for you. Off you go, Mike. Baruch Shep Tarani, May on Shore, Shalom Zeh. Amen. I mean, Mazel Tov to you and Jackie. You're both now released responsibility for Jacob. Jacob, you're now responsible for your actions. Thank you. Mouth off to you. So, Jacob, mouth off once again on your bar mitzvah. Mouth off to your dear parents. Mouth off to you, Jackie, and to you, Mike, and to your grandparents, Shirley and Les Sackwild and Barbara Liff, to your relatives joining us from Israel and America. And those relatives and friends closer to home, but not in your home. And of course, not forgetting your brother Benjamin and your sister Kayla. Your whole family, Jacob, shep so much knuckles from you. And I hope you know how proud they are of you. Now, as you said, your bar mitzvah is truly unique, a little bit like you. And I believe it's so important that a bar mitzvah should be meaningful. And that's why I'm so pleased that you chose to learn to lead parts of the service as well as laying the mufti. And you've clearly worked very hard and it's clearly and it's really paid off. Your davening and your laying and your davar Torah were all excellent. And with the ex expert tuition and patience of your teacher, Mark Duke, you've now acquired skills for life. And that's why it was so wonderful to hear you share them with us. And we could see that you clearly enjoyed it. And we enjoyed listening and joining in with you. You know, what's so impressive is that not only do you now know the tunes and the words, but also the meaning of those words as well. Now, I also love the fact that you've even made your own personalized siddur for your bar mitzvah. And so I say, please God, at some time in the future, when our shul reopens and we meet again as a community, you'll be able to show everyone what you've learned. I ought to have to say that for someone who I understand doesn't normally stop eating, it's amazing that you did all of this without taking a snack break. Jacob, you sang some of the most important and uplifting fillers, and I'd like to spend a moment just sharing with you three lessons that they contain for us all and specifically for you now that you are Bar Mitzvah. Firstly, the Ein Kamocha in which we declare that God and his works are incomparable. But we have to ask the question, why do we say this just before taking out the Sefer Torah? And I think the answer is this, to realize the greatness of God and the great gift of the Torah that he gave to us, his people. Our encounter with the Torah has to be prefaced with the knowledge and awareness of the, of the awesomeness of God and the extent of his creation and that they're both unparalleled. So lesson one is to always remember that we're so fortunate to be able to connect with God, to bridge the divide between our, inf our finite world and the infinite. And we do that through Torah and mitzvahs. And it's also similar to the idea contained in Ein Kelo that you also sang. Lesson two is from Vayihi bin Sa'aron. That once we've already opened the ark, we say, as Moshe Rabbeinu himself said, when the ark traveled through the desert, 
Kuma Hashem, we are fruit soyevecha. Arise, Hashem, and let your enemies be scattered. Let those who hate you flee from you. Now, what we know about those who transported the ark was that more than they carried it, it carried them. And so too with us. More than carrying the Torah, it carries us. Our greatest protection against our enemies is to be found when we learn Torah and keep its mitzvahs. And so I say to you, always remember that the Torah has guided us for generations, for over 3,000 years. Its teachings have protected us from the negative influences that are within and surrounding us. And finally, lesson three. From one of those most the most rousing of songs, Eitz Chayimi, that you sang so beautifully, with such beautiful imagery of the Torah as a tree of life to those who hold tight to it. As we put the Sefer Torah away, we're reminded that the Torah isn't just something you learn about in Jewish studies lessons at school. Judaism is to be lived every moment of every day because it's our life. So Jacob, lesson one is to see the Torah as a bridge between us and God. Lesson two is to know that the Torah protects us from all types of enemies. And lesson three is to remember that the Torah is the very source of our life. And there's one more thing that I'd like to share with you, Jacob. You know, as we know, sadly, it's been over two months now since we've been able to sing any of these prayers in shul. There's been no opening of the ark. No taking out of the same Torah or putting it away. And as I'm sure we all do, we hope soon we'll be able to do so again. And when we do, I hope that we sing these songs with a renewed sense of meaning and purpose. You know, when we still could, we at Boreham would used to have a large number of school children from non-Jewish schools come and visit our shul to learn about Judaism. And I would talk to them about the features of the shul and point out the different aspects that make up a shul. And what I found so thrilling was whenever I opened the Aram Kodesh, when I only opened up the Ark to show them the Sifrei Torah, I always got a fantastic reaction from the children. There were always audible gasps. The children were invariably amazed and somewhat in awe as they marveled at the magnificence of what they see. But do you know what? Do we react the same way? Or have we lost something when we open the ark, when we see it? Maybe it's because it's too familiar to us, because it's always been part of the service. Perhaps it's lost some drama for us. But that's our challenge. And Jacob, that's your challenge, now your bar mitzvah, to maintain a sense of wonder and excitement for the Torah, to always want to learn more, understand more, and do more. You know, in exactly a week's time, it will be Shavuos. When we celebrate the receiving of the Torah and we have a chance to regain that freshness in our view for the Torah, like those school children. Jacob, today is your Shavuos, as you're now bar mitzvah, obligated to keep the mitzvahs. And if you continue to use the skills and lessons that you've learned so far, and you learn new ones, then you'll go from being a bar mitzvah to becoming a ben Torah. Someone for whom Torah is their life. Now, you've already made a fantastic start. You have a great personality. As your mum and dad said, you're a sensitive brute. You're fun, you're kind, and you're loving. And I was so impressed to hear that you, undertake, you undertook the 13 for 13 Bar Mitzvah Challenge to raise money for Boy, Boys Town, Jerusalem. And you set yourself that very ambitious target of doing 13 bike rides each of 13 miles and taking your dad with you. That's a fantastic thing to do. So I say to you, continue to find things like that to do and can learn those three lessons of how important it is to recognize the greatness of God and the connection we have with him, to know that we can connect through Torah and mitzvot, to know that Torah has always protected us and to know whatever you do, the Torah is always there to, for you to grow and to find more and find more deeper meaning and understanding. And if you can do that, if you can absorb those three lessons, if you can maintain that freshness always and excitement when you sing those songs, when you see the Torah, when you learn it and you keep it and you do it, then you will continue to be a source of great nachas for your dear parents and family 
for your community, and ultimately for God himself. Mazel tov to you, Amen. Now, it gives me great pleasure to uh, make a mishaberach on this occasion of your bar mitzvah. Mishimerach avoseinu Abraham Yitzhak bin Yaakov Yivarech esabacha abba mitzvah Yaakov bin Mikhoel Shemaru lo yishlo yishrei shana v'yigil mitzvahiz V'alala Torah lase yishevach v'odza alkohol Atova shikmal t'itzoi Rosh Baruch Yishmerei v'yad silei u'mikol tzamsuka U'mikol nega u'machala V'yasem v'levoi avaso v'yirasoi Velasos with son of the Bale Bashem Koyamim Venoma Amen. May he who blessed our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless Yaakov and Michal, Jacob Lift, who has attained his 13th birthday and has reached the age before mitzvahs, as means will be. Please, God, call at some point to the Torah to give praise and thanks for all the good things that you have done for him. May the Holy One, blessed to be ye, protect him and save him from all trouble and distress. May be plague, virus and disease. May he implant in his heart the desire to love and revere him, the desire to do his will with a perfect heart throughout his life. And let us say, Amen. Now it gives me great pleasure to uh, ask to hand over to uh, Jacob's Bar Mitzvah teacher, Mark Duke, to say a few words. Thank you, Rabbi. Jacob, Mazel Tov, and well done. This is a unique experience for me, as I don't normally get a chance to speak publicly to my pupils. As you know, we are currently living in very unique times due to this terrible virus. For the last three months, instead of having lessons in my cave, we've been Zooming. I was expecting to be at your bar mitzvah in shul, like I was for your brother Ben. However, you are unique and very different from your brother. So although no one would ever pick these circumstances, you can look back and say that not only did I learn something very different, but I had a totally different bar mitzvah experience from Ben. Jacob, you are a kind, caring and sensitive person, and I've really enjoyed working with you. You are always smiling, enthusiastic, outgoing and prepared to give anything a go. Despite finding some things really hard, you never give up. These are incredibly positive traits and I know will stand you in good stead in the future. I know you are happiest when on a bike or on the move, 
So sitting and concentrating quietly for an hour a week has been a challenge in itself. But you've come through with flying colours. And I look forward to one day hearing you in shul. You are very fortunate that your lovely parents are so supportive of everything you do and have been so encouraging for you to do something for your bar mitzvah, which is a bit different, but has suited you so well. Your mum has even helped you make your special siddha. It's been amazing to see how you've grown in confidence as you've learned various tefillot we prepared. And I was so proud when you told me a number of months ago that on Shabbat morning, you found you could follow some of the service and sing along as you knew the words and tunes and felt comfortable to stay in shul rather than playing outside while waiting for Kiddush. Now that you're an adult member of the community, I am sure that you will continue to play your part using the skills you have learned with me, as well as the other talents I know you have. Let me share with you a very brief message. Our rabbis teach us that our forefathers established the idea of daily prayer to Hashem. They showed that man can and should speak to Hashem on a daily basis as he would to another person. Your namesake, Jacob, is credited with creating the Mariv evening prayer when he fled from his brother Esau on the way to his uncle Lavan's house, and he used prayer to help him handle the many challenges he faced during his life. My blessing to you, Jacob, is that like your namesake, you too use prayer to express gratitude for all of the blessings you have been given and as a source of support in times of need. My wish for you is that in the future you use your skills to help others and that you have a life full of simcha, good health, happiness and everything you wish for. Mazel tov again to you, Jacob, and to your lovely family. Thank you, Mark, for that lovely message. And the Ashokoyak again to you for teaching Jacob so well. Now, Jacob, we've heard that you undertook the 13 for 13 Bar Mitzvah challenge to raise money for Boys Town, Jerusalem. Now, I'm delighted, this is a surprise, to be able to, to have a special message for you from Boys Town, Jerusalem. special Jacob a bit of surprise for you there well very well deserved very well deserved now I'm delighted to ask Jackie and Mike to make their parents blessing their bracha to you on your bar mitzvah may God make you like Ephraim and Nisha may God bless you and watch over you May God shine his face towards you and show you favour. May God be favourably disposed towards you and may he grant you peace. Amen. Amen. Mazel tov, mazel tov again. And now, as Jacob, as you said, the finale, the moment we've been waiting for, you're going to house leaders in singing Adon Olam. Over to you, Jacob. Adon Olam Hashem Allah B'terin kul yazih nevra B'yait nasah b'chah sako Ezai melesh amohon nekra B'yachah reiki lotaku 
Never had a game, love nor a Boo hoo ya, boo hoo ho ba. Boo hoo ya, ba ti hi fa ra. Boo hoo a hard ba ain shady. No ham shit lola ha be ra. Belly ray shit, belly he tarlet. Belly ha oz fa ha maze ra. Boo hoo a leave a high golly. You so ham leave a eight a ra. Boo hoo na si u ma no Men not go see, but you have a crap. of key drooky. Be a tea shabby, ya era. By him, Ruki, Gabby, he arty. I don't leave a low era. Jacoyak, Jacob, that was fantastic. What a fantastic end to a fantastic and unique bar mitzvah. And you know, we know we really shouldn't do this, but I really want to. Uh, wish you a shakoya and a and shake your hands. Shakoya to Mazel Tov, Mazel to the whole family. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Thank you. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, yeah, hey, Lan, oh, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, Simon Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Mazel Tov, and Simon Tov, yeah, hey, Lan, oh.